good morning everybody I am gonna get ready today gonna go down to the cafe down the street which I never go there I don't know why I never go there but today I'm gonna take my iPad with me and I'm gonna go and see if I can work there honestly life update so what I've been thinking about recently I'm thinking about getting a full-time job nowadays have a full-time job and then of course I'm never gonna stop YouTube I will never stop YouTube like that will not be a very fun life for me because I enjoy creating content for you guys every week I want to do that but then at the same time I thought it would be really nice to have a very stable consistent income which is what I do not have right now I'm just thinking about all the things that will allow me to do on my channel if I you know earn good amount of money then I can do a lot more with this channel and so that's what I was thinking like I don't know I change my mind every five minutes in my life so but actually the past two days or so I've been researching and I've applied for um, jobs and things like that and so today I'm also gonna go to the cafe and do more research of what exactly what I want to do I don't want to waste my time I want to you know at the end of the day I have a master's degree so I want to make sure that I'm getting a job that pays me well so I don't know how long that's gonna take I don't have my nails done right now because as you can see it's turning kind of black that is not good that means I need to take it I need to take it slow and give it a break so maybe next week I'll do my nails for now as far as the jobs that I'm looking at obviously I would like it if it is still within the arts so I realized that there's a lot of art teacher jobs available like I have experience working with kids and working in school before so something that I can do and then also a lot of like gallery jobs which I think is a little bit more harder to get for some reason because I don't even have that many experience of that in my resume other than the one internship that I did when I was in school let's get changed to an outfit royal royal good morning I, I just made the bed by the way like five seconds ago and then of course the dog is gonna mess it up because for some reason she prefers to sleep here instead of her own bed I just decluttered this but now it's already crowded I don't even get that many stuff today I'm gonna wear a set of shorts and top really comfortable it's in the 70s outside so it's not too hot to wear this this is how the outfit looks it's very comfortable it has pockets as well and that's why I'm gonna wear it and this is the kind of outfit that if you want to, you can elevate with accessories and shades and things like that. But we're only going to the cafe, so we're going to be plain. I'm going to take my North Face top bag and then I'm going to put my iPad in there. My wallet. So, oh, I got a new iPad cover and it's really cute and everything. This is how it looks. This is the cutest iPad cover I've ever seen. But then it turned out to be the wrong model and it's not exactly for this model, but it still fits. So I'm still using it. This camera is supposed to be bigger and it doesn't have a place to hold my Apple pen. For now, I'm like putting it inside this hole <laughs> like that. It's not supposed to be there, but and I don't want to go back to my old ugly one the black one that I had it was so old and I don't want that anymore I like that it has this so I can like stand it you know how like the older um, iPads if you need to charge your Apple Pencil you just plug it on the charger but this one you were supposed to stick it on the side but because it's the wrong model I have to remove this every time I, have, I want to charge my Apple Pencil but did I say my apple pen earlier instead of pencil? Let's go get some coffee. My headphones, keychain. Why is everything kind of pink and purple in my bag? We're only doing a five minute walk today. It's really close.
Guys, I just got back home now. I applied to so many jobs while I was at the coffee shop. Like so many jobs that are they are all different. Like gallery job school like I mentioned earlier and then I found even like a YouTube manager or something like that yeah so like just like anything that would interest me I applied so let's see if they're actually gonna hit me up Riley's sitting right here outside with me she took a two-hour nap while I was gone remember this painting that I finished like a while ago I mentioned that I didn't like the bottom part because it was all yellow, all the backgrounds on here were yellow. So I brought it back and then I added this pink um, background and I think it looks so much better than the full yellow background. I don't know if you remember from my previous vlog but that looks so much better so that's why it's here now. And then also I've been working on this painting it's still in a very early stage of the painting. I still have to paint the figure there but yeah early stage work i don't really know where it's going yet but this is what we have so far but right now i need to take a picture with this painting i'm gonna take a picture with this painting like i'm gonna stand next to it and take a picture so i can post it on instagram because for some reason it does better like the interaction is better when i post my art with myself in it show my art like standing next to it or something like that i noticed that it does better for all artists whenever they take picture with their art instead of just posting the art by itself so from time to time oh, the construction outside is so loud i don't know if you can hear that but so from time to time i like to take picture with my art and i like to also try to wear something cute so let me show you guys the, the outfit that i'm gonna put together so this is cj's shirt he wear it at home <laughs> he wears it at home when he's just kind of like hanging out at home but i think it's pretty cool i like it so I'm going to wear these and I'm going to wear these baggy pants with it. These are low rise pants but um, they're pretty baggy and I think they go really well with this top so let's put this together real quick. This is the fit, this is the low rise pants. They're really nice, baggy, comfortable and then I can kind of like tuck this in a little bit. Well, like that and then now we're gonna accessorize so one way to elevate your looks is accessories I have this necklace I'm sure you've seen it before because I think I wore it before and then I completely forgot I had it so I have the necklace on and it took me 20 minutes to put it on because the, the challenge of this necklace is actually putting it on without CJ's help it's so hard but it's pretty like pink and then remember this shade like I never wear it because it's such a statement piece but right now I'm not gonna wear it I'm actually just gonna use it to accessorize and I'm not gonna wear it that completes the fit for this Instagram picture let me show you exactly how it looks from another angle And yeah, this is it. So let's take the picture now. <laughs> Move this out the way. I don't know if I should do it on this side or on this side. Actually, the picture will be this way. So that will kind of be the kind of vibe we're going to go for. But you can go see my Instagram if I end up posting it to see how it turned out. So I'm done editing. Mm, not editing. I'm done taking the picture. So now I'm going to edit. I took a bunch then yeah you can see on my my instagram because i'm about to post it right now guys guess what i already got a job interview everything is happening so fast like i didn't expect it i literally just told you maybe two days ago that i think i want to get a job and then i applied right away and then i got a job interview and this is not even the job that I applied while I was at the cafe. It was actually like after I came back from the cafe, I was making lunch. And then, you know how you get those emails from India? And then they say like, we would like to receive your application or something like that. I got one of those. 
I applied right away without like checking much. They responded pretty quickly, like maybe an hour after they texted me and they asked me to come in today. So when I got that email, I went back to actually check exactly, you know, more details about the job and everything. And I realized that I'm missing a license that they require. So I'm like, hmm, there that might, you know, that might be a problem. I don't know. I just have a master's instead. I don't have the license that they are requesting. But I didn't put on my resume that I have li license. So today when I go to this interview, they're probably going to ask me if I have that license. I'm probably going to say no. And they're probably, we don't know how it's going to go, but we'll see. But then I also got an email yesterday from another job. And they pay a little less than the first one. But they didn't call me for an interview. They just told me like, you've passed the first part of the process. We want you to fill out this application so we can move on. You know forward to the next part so the 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 link it just wants more information about myself and then my where my school gpa and things like that which my prep gpa is uh, really good so i just filled that and i sent it and then they said they will review that application and get back to me and i'm like okay that's whatever if the first one require license and then i'll go with this one but then i'll ask them to pay me more because i have more than what they require they require bachelor's and I have more than that so I'm gonna try to see like because the description says starting at this price so maybe there's a chance that I can negotiate to get as much as the job from today however an hour ago I got a job interview for a third place for tomorrow but this one is gonna be over phone which I believe it's so much easier to just do phone like interviews because I don't have to like waste my time going places that's too much but the job form tomorrow is my most favorite one because first they pay the most from all of them like a lot more and the company overall is where i want to be like it just feels like the vibe like i studied more on the company and like the the workers how they treat the workers the the what do you call it the, the things that they offer for employees it's just like a lot more better the environment is it just feels like it's something that I want to work in because there's so much I can learn from this company even for my future. I feel like this is where I want to work, the job interview for tomorrow. But I'm going today for this interview and I'm going to go to whatever interview the next person from yesterday asked me to. But tomorrow I'm going to do my best to get tomorrow's job because that job is kind of like a dream job. They appear really good and God willing, tomorrow's job is a job. Mm, but we never know today we can go and see how today is gonna go as well but, you know. so i just finished my interview and i am around prospect park so i thought why not just walk around it's so pretty here Please remind me why I never come here because it's so pretty and peaceful. Imagine this in the fall. It's gonna look so pretty. I'm gonna go that way and see what's over there. Oh my god, there is a wedding happening over there. I found my own little spots in this park. I finally got a little table and a seat of my own. Right across the wedding happening over here actually. Right there. People are gonna stare at me recording. It's kind of awkward but I don't care. Okay, so let me tell you guys what happened today. So, I did predict that they require a license and they did. But they offered me another position that I can do while getting my license but the pay is gonna be even more smaller so I'm not so sure about that I'm just gonna hope and pray that the job that I'm interviewing for tomorrow hopefully I qualify for that and I get that one because it's the best job 
So today's job, I'm not gonna take it to be honest. But at least I, I got to come out here in Prospect Park and relax. I got so low. Then I get to witness a wedding, how beautiful. Also CJ, he works in different parks like uh, his school. Like I mentioned, he's a soccer coach. So some days he works in Prospect Park. I don't know if today is those days when you work here. I texted him, but he didn't reply because he's busy at work. If he replies, then maybe we can go home together because he's almost finished. Or he could be somewhere instead today. I don't know where he's at. So I'm waiting to see if I'm gonna get a response from him so we can meet up. So when I thought that um, this job, I thought if I get this job, then there is a possibility that CJ and I would kind of meet at here and then go home together. That was kind of what I visualized. But I think I'm just gonna go home because CJ is not replying. It's already three o'clock. The wedding is over now. Let's go home. Good morning. I have my bagel this morning. And today is the day of my phone interview. But tell me why I saw this TikTok. Somebody commented that they got the same interview and they never called him. I saw that and I was like, oh my god. And I didn't want to overthink. So I'm just like, whatever. But the good thing is the other job where I know this entire vlog is just turning about to be about like a job because that's where I am right now in my life looking for a job I got an email from the other job where they asked me for my GPA and stuff they want to do an interview but they want me to send a video like film a video and send it if it wasn't for my YouTube channel that would have freaked me out so much because of my fear of being in front of camera so YouTube got me used to that but when I first started YouTube that was like my biggest challenge is to actually talk in front of camera I was like I was so tense and I felt very nervous and I thought it was like the hardest thing ever but eventually I got used to it and thank god I know how to vlog and edit now so I can just use this camera film something and then send it to them but they want it by today I guess I'm gonna do this interview this phone interview quickly and then if they call me and then I will submit the other interview video guys this is the first week that I went the whole week without painting and I never do that but this is when I know that I needed a change in my life this is why I'm searching for a job that's why I want to move out of here and find a new place because I've been in one place for too long working on art for two years the same corner of the house so it's like yeah I think my brain is just like no more <laughs> like I don't even want to look that way anymore it's like so bad because art is you know the only thing that I love to do besides YouTube so I can't like not do it oh my god my interview is in about eight minutes if they're still gonna call me but what if it turns out to be like a FaceTime or something and then I'm in my pajamas and it's a mess here that would be so embarrassing I'll definitely not get a job I did get a text that I have a call with them in about 10 minutes so maybe they'll call okay so I just did my interview it was very short and quick and I read on the internet, I've been doing my research, and I read on the internet that somebody said that they did this interview and they also did other two interviews. So my first interview, I think it went well. It was very, very quick. And he said that, um, so they will be reaching out to, uh, they will be sending my information to somebody else and then they will reach out again and, and let me know like what the second part of the process is going to be. So they'll reach out in about 48 hours so I guess we just wait to see if I qualified or not now I'm gonna prepare to film my video for the second job <laughs> oh it's so heavy for no reason <laughs> I'm gonna film here so I want it to be very like open space that's why I'm moving my work away so oh, I think I'm ready I have CJ's laptop here because my laptop is too old too slow and it could probably break down in the middle of it all because I think I found out that I might have to do everything on the laptop like filming and filling out the application again like I have to fill out some 
application so i think i have to film on the laptop again but we don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna find out right now um in terms of what i'm gonna wear like i don't have a single professional work clothes and i'm literally wearing a sweater in the middle of winter because this is the only thing that i have that will look formal and when i'm sitting i guess it could look formal but if i have an in-person interview i probably have to go shopping for formal clothes because i can't pull up looking like an instagram baddie outfit <laughs> that's all i have like crop tops and things like that i don't have a single work outfit so that's a problem but for now we're just gonna finesse it like this with a sweater i should get the chair why am i why am I slouching? Okay, I need to get this done ASAP. It's almost a deadline. I don't know why I'm dragging this. Don't wait. Create. Believe. Be relentless. This is success. Okay, I think my interview is submitting right now and it turned out that they would ask you one question and then you would um, have one minute to think about it and then you can record yourself and then submit it so basically you kind of just go with it's not like feel, sitting down and filming and editing like a YouTube video it's like one question and then you film and then you submit and I ended up using my iPad because CJ's laptop was not allowing me to use the, the camera for some reason and my iPad camera is not that good but I don't have a choice they also had some written questions that I had to write they were all timed so I have to like think fast and answer it but uh, when I see like timing things like ticking down my brain kind of does worse than when I'm not timed <laughs> so I feel like I had to like think fast even though they kind of give you a good amount of time like they'll give you like a when you're recording they'll give you five minutes when you're writing they give you ten minutes so I just submitted that and hopefully we hear back from them two interviews today i'm not gonna apply for another job until i hear from these two interviews wish me luck guys you guys i'm not so sure about how this vlog is going because it's very it's very like real estate kind of week in my life it's just how my week went and i'll come back with more fun vlogs and i'm trying to bring a change in my life and get a job and then move to a different place and then like you know create better content i'm just finding ways to shift my life a little bit make it a little bit more fun and grow this channel in a way where i'll take you guys to every journey that i'm gonna be going through from now on and yeah so i'm looking forward to future contents of how, how and where things are gonna go so that's where i am right now but thank you so much for watching this vlog as well i'll come back again next week in a good better video so thank you so much and i'll see you bye Cause all we need is love and love and love